To many Basutu, this reforms process has come to this far, but right now it still looks like just a huge chunk of report that still needs to be translated into practical solutions to provide the, and pave a way forward such that it can actually come into laws that Basutu can ordinarily use. To us, what exactly does it mean? I mean, there are long-term decisions that need to be made, there are short-term, but what strike you mostly as things of interest out of this exercise? Thank you, Ndate Khatebe. Uh, I was a member of a National Dialogue Planning Committee representing the business community. So my interest was on economic uh, reforms. So what is entailed into the report are decisions. This, mean, this implies that the National Reforms Authority is going to implement the decisions made. They are not going to discuss anything. The other is to ensure that implementation is done accordingly. So these are the views of Basoto, deep from the village, from the diaspora, and across the academia. These are the things that they want implemented. Absolutely. So issues have been categorized uh, uh, in different ways. We are going to have issues that can be handled in, in the short term, and some will be in the long term, others will be in the medium term. So there is a classification uh, of issues. Some are administrative, some will need a legislative action, some will need a constitutional amendment. Clearly, within six months, those issues that are classified under short term, which are administrative, we are expecting in six months time to see a valuable progress in that regard because when you talk of administrative issues it means you don't need to go to cabinet it means the line ministries uh, have to make decisions there and implement i will cite an example there is an issue that um, w uh, as business people we want account sections of line ministries to open at eight o'clock because currently they open at uh, nine o'clock and then they close at two o'clock so it is a big challenge to business people that you will arrive there at half past eight waiting for account section you know to wait for nine o'clock okay so then recommendation is that all account sections of line ministries must be open at eight o'clock and close at 4 30. Again, the government uh, land minister must also introduce uh, swiping facilities because now government is operating with cash. So those are some of the things that are administrative. We are expecting them, you know, within a month, you know, we want to see that measure, you know, be effected. But I'm sure there are those, when we talk in general, that are Basotu really interested. For one, do Basotu still want their king in place? Oh yes, oh yes, and they even want the king to have power to intervene because currently uh, the status was that the king cannot intervene even if he can see that there's a challenge, you know, hence why we are having mediation from outside the country. So that was one of the things uh, that uh, Basutu raised in the villages that our king must have a say. So it was structured in such a way that uh, a body which is advising the king, you know, uh, it was strengthened with various stakeholders so that uh, there should be a, a dispute mechanism that uh, he can intervene to the affairs of Basotho. Others that come that prop to mind of interest that Basotho really spoke about? Yes, one, it is that one of the National uh, Planning Committee, uh, National Planning Board. Mm -hmm. They said it should be elevated to National uh, Planning Commission. It shouldn't be a national planning board because it was a sort of an advisory. So they wanted, you know, to have a decision, you know, because the feeling was that uh, the planning uh, processes of Lesotho, you know, uh, is scattered, you know, things are done in silos, you know, there's no coherence on the planning process of Lesotho. So and these are things that can have a high impact on the economy of Lesotho. Absolutely. Even the establishment of uh, economic advisory council to the office of the president minister is one of the critical issues because the feeling is that uh, the office of the prime minister should set a tone so if a tone can come from the top everything will come down easily